Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. We give you all that glory. Be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Hallelujah. Please, family, help me to like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, they want to follow you. Somebody, you are so calm, calculative, and quiet. But at the same time, you are the spiritual assassin. You are ready to slaughter what needs to be slaughtered in the second heaven, in the spiritual realm. And this has made you a very humble leader. They want to follow you. They see how calm and calculative you are. They see how dedicated you are. You smile, and but they know who you are. <laughs> I tell people, the devil know who you are. You know one thing about we Christians. Most of us, we don't even know what we what, who we are. We don't know who we are. We are like, uh, because of the situation we are being faced with, ah, God did not do this. God did not do that. God did not do that. God did not. We forget who we are. A royal priesthood, a choosing generation. Hallelujah. Bless are those that are called the sons and daughters of the Lord. And you have become a very humble leader, a spiritual assassin. You know, sometimes when I tell people, don't react in the flesh. Don't react in the flesh. One thing you do is when you don't react to things in the flesh, you react in the spirit. There must be a reaction. That is definitely. Is that you exploded physically and the devil is laughing at you? Ah, we have gotten him. The temper has exploded. Or you exploded spiritually and the devil begins to run. When you say gay, they, they, they start to run. <laughs> when you roar, when you stand up, they start to run. So when you react in the physical, they are like, look at this one. The temper is loose. But they have learned now that you are a humble leader. They want to follow you. <clears throat> they want to follow you. If they want to follow you, let them pick up their own cross. Because Jesus said you have to pick up your own cross and follow. You have to pick up your own cross and follow. Let them change from their ways, from their evil ways. Because, uh, you know, as they say, two, uh, two champions, I don't know, cannot be riding one boat. So this one needs to be riding his own and the other one riding his own. But what matter is right, riding into the right direction. They want to follow you. Child of God, you are a humble leader. Not just a leader, you have become a spiritual assassin. The strength that you carry it is something that you yourself don't even know. But it is God that strength in the Bible said it's not of he that will it. Neither of he that run it, but it is of the Lord that showeth mercy. It is God through his mercy that is making it uh, making it possible for you to lead with example. I pray may the spirit of humbleness continue to rest in your life in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.